Life is all about priorities. What is more important today was probably not so important five years ago and will not matter 10 years from today. But what we choose today as our priority can actually shape our destiny. So today we are going to ask a special question. Now question is, in fact this question was asked by one of my student. So she whatsapped me at middle of the night and she says that, Sir, what is important? As a 24 year old, should I go for CSIR net or should I go for a job? Because my parents have already spent so much money into my education. She had gone to SRM University, then VIT Valore, and lakhs and lakhs of rupees her parents had already spent. And now somebody said that you have to do PhD, then only you have a future in our country, in life sciences. So she was confused and she reached out to me. So this video is for her and for all of you who want to learn about this topic. Now, if this question was asked to me in 2018, six years ago, I would have suggested that a CSIR net is, should be a priority. But things have changed as we speak in 2024. In 2018, the size of Indian biotech industry was hardly 60 to 80 billion dollars, while the biopharmaceuticals was the major chunk of that. But today in 2024, you have bio industries in various aspects and today getting a job easier than before. Now, at the same time, Getting a CSIR net is getting more difficult than before. Now, why both one is becoming easy and one is getting difficult, I will explain. Now, as soon as you pass out from your bachelor's, B.Tech or master's and MSc, somebody says, hey, hey, there's no future, you go for a PhD. It's completely wrong in 2024. Because today you can easily get a job in the biotech industry. It will start around 3 lakhs per annum for a regular MSc and it quickly accelerates within two years to 6 lakhs, 8 lakhs, up to 10 lakhs. But you need to have some basics very clear. You have to make sure that you have the right kind of training, you have the right kind of internships done. But we'll not get into that right now. Now coming to CSIR net, why it is getting difficult is because CSIR net used to conduct twice a year. So they were sending two question papers to you, right? So now it is in two shifts. So NTA and CSIR has to work double hard. So they are running out of questions so they're increasing the difficulty level of questions and you can see the cutoff it will give a very good reflection of that it is getting difficult by the day because the number of people who are writing this assignment it is also increasing last time it was um, 90,000 people who registered but of course the, uh, less people wrote because of the postponement but yeah so it's increasing the competition is increasing and at the same time getting a job is easy but then the question is, what is your priority? What should be your priority? That way, I'll tell you. So, okay, getting a job is easy and CSIR net is a little difficult. So, uh, should you target the difficult one or the easy one? The answer is in how much money you have already spent in your education. That's the number one. The number two is how much, how long your parents can keep paying your bills because uh, eventually you also have to start earning, right? So, if the answer is like, okay, I have spent enough of my parents' money into education and I need to get started with earning, then you should do some short-term courses and get a job. Once you have got the job, you get a runway of five years to prepare. Because for males, it is um, 28 years and the female is 33 years, right? And SAST also, we see of 23 years. So you have time. Okay, once you've got the job, you've started funding yourself. And using that money and the time which you will get in the evenings and the weekend, you can prepare. It will take a little longer, but you will be able to self-fund your preparation at least. You will not depend on your parents and you know your relatives won't taunt you saying that uh, this person is useless, he could not get a job and now he's preparing for another entrance exam. Because to be very frank, entrance exams are gamble. But getting a job is not a gamble today in 2024. You can always do some short-term courses on bioinformatics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, clinical research, pharmacovigilance, clinical data management, biocoder, Python, Java, Perl, all those things you can learn. And then you start earning or you can get into scientific writing in biotechnic also, we have vacancies. So you can start getting there and you've got the job and now using that money, you pay your coaching fees or whatever it is or you get time, right? Nobody's on your head that you have to now go and prepare for CSN otherwise you're dead right that kind of problems won't be there now coming to the question which I asked in the beginning of the video is getting a CSI net or a job my suggestion would be take up a job if you've already spent enough money and you want to become financially free from your parents and you, you start contributing back to them also and then once you've got the job stability then you can always prepare for CSI net we have the evening batch 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock 
or uh, weekend classes are there you can always prepare using the biotechnica study material whatever it is but get a job good but okay if somebody who is like okay is limited is going to cross very very soon then you don't have time then you have to start the preparation and basically those who are in 27 or you know 26 years or for females it is around 30 or something you should start preparing take it seriously because uh, on an average if you are doing a preparation seriously it takes 6 to 8 months up to 1 year if you are just um, doing part time preparation like in only in the weekends and the evening then it can take up to 3 years also to qualify the exam right so these were the pointers which i wanted to throw across um, in your mind but see the decision is going to be yours and probably because i'm also human i must have missed some uh, point of view or some angle so please comment below what is your perspective what do you think you should be doing or what others should be doing if this is this is the case or this is the question so that we can create a community of people who help each other and we help each other create a better future for ourselves and our country and our parents right so thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you soon in the next one till then keep shining be in touch thank you take care bye bye